Hey, hello, welcome. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can call any ESS job using SOAP services. So I have created video in which video I explain this integration access run ESS job integration where we have run the ESS job from Oracle ERP cloud adapter in our integration. Now it's time to run the ESS job from with the help of that uh, SOAP services. So Oracle provided the SOAP services to call the ESS job and do various operations. So here you can see this is the SOAP services, ERP integration services and this is the visitor link for these services and here the operation, there are various operations like getting the ESS job status or submitting a ESS job and various things, right? So we will use this one in our integration. So as we have to submit the ESS job, so we have operation as submit job ESS job request. So this operation will use, in this operation we have three parameters as a request payload that is the job package name, job definition name and parameters. So here you can see this is our ESS job which we are going to call from our integration with the help of SOAP API. So before going to use SOAP services in our integration, first we will use so we will test the SOAP services with the help of SOAP adapter, SOAP uh, UI uh, application. So here you can see this is our ESS job name, this is our ESS job definition and this is our ESS job package name, right? So I have noted down all these things in Notepad. So here you can see this is our uh, complete package name. This is the actual package name where we created uh, uh, service services uh, created ESS job, and this is the fixed fixed prefix path. As this is our customs, that's why we require the details. If you want, you can click here. You can see when you will drag mouse here in the path, you can see file file location file location prefixed by this one, right? So same I have added, and we don't have any parameter of this ESS job. So here you can see. Let me first use this web services. So this is SOAP services, SOAP service. So I will copy this one and I have already make a note of this one, right? You can see. So this is the same in that one. Instead of server name, we have to provide the Fusion Cloud URL. So this is our Fusion Cloud. So I will use here and you can see this is our visual services, right? So this is the visual we will use in SOAP, right? So I will copy here and I will open the SOAP, SOAP services. So here I have opened the SOAP software, SOAP UI and here we need to create for testing the SOAP services we need to go and create a new SOAP project. We have to provide the visitor here, we provided the visitor. So whatever URL we are using, whatever Fusion URL we are using, we have to provide the user password for this URL only, right? So here which services we are using, we are using ERP, so I will use this one, right, okay. Now it will load and after loading we need to select the operation. So here you can see you will get two parent node that is ERP integration services response response binding and another one ERP integration services SOAP. So I don't want this one so I will just move here and this is the actual services which we have to use ERP integration service SOAP HTTP and here we have to select the operation. So we need to select operation as submit ESS job right. This is submit ESS job. So I will click here and here once you will click it will show you the payload. So in this payload so whatever value you have to provide after that you need to provide the credentials for your fusion instance. So here in authentication you will go to the add new authentication basic and now okay you have to provide the user id and password for the fusion instance whatever url you added. So now here I will provide the fusion url fusion uh, credentials. So I provided the fusion credentials. After that, you need to provide all the payload, right? So here payload, you can see job package name. Instead of question mark, we have to provide the package name. So I will remove this here and here I have already make a note of package name. So this is the complete package name. So I will copy this one and I will paste here, right? Now we have to select the definition name. So definition is something like sort name of your report. So this is the sort name of my report. I have already make a copy of that. So if you will see here, this is the same name sort name of the report so i will just make here and here this is the parameter list so as i don't have any parameters i will remove this question mark i don't want to remove this tag it i will it will be same as now once you will run this one it will submit this uh, web services and in response you will get the request id of the ess job so here you can see we got the request id as 69465211 if you will go to the fusion instance and here if i will restart I will reload, you can see that XX invoice report with the process ID, I request ID, you can see 6946521, 6946521, this is the same. So now we, we, we confirm that what's the request payload we have for the SOAP services. And now same we will use in our integration. So for the first, we need to create the SOAP connection, right? So I will go and I will create SOAP connection first. 
so let me move to the integration here and now we have to create connection so i will go create connection i will select soap and now here we have to provide the name so i will provide xx soap erp integration what's the name erp integration services integration services now so that we can easily identify this soap connection is used for that erp integration services right now create and here we have to provide the url that is the visitor so whatever visitor we have so I'll, i have already make a note of this visitor so i will use this visitor and here we have to provide the username and password so let me once we will provide we will go for the test right after providing username password you can go and click on test test and validate so once this will be test and validated it will move to the 100 percent and now this connection is ready to use so now you can see it's completed i will make a save it's already saved yeah you can see the connection has configured this connection is ready to use so now here you can see i have already created this integration in this integration i explain how to run the or call the ess job from uh, integration with the help of erp cloud adapter i have already created video for that you can see this video i will provide the link of this video in description you can check and you can watch the videos here only now here i will make a copy of this one job 2 or you can say run ess job using soap and now clone so here in this integration you can see i have already configured the request and the response payload in request payload i have taken the uh, the job in request payload i have taken the you can see let me show you taken the job package name and the definition name and and in the response i am returning back the request id so same i will do the here in this integration also so here we use erp cloud adapter so i will delete this erp cloud adapter as i don't want to use this one instead of erp cloud adapter what i need to use i need to use soap services so i have already created soap connection so here you will go soap and this is the connection xx soap erp integration services i will add here and now here we have to provide the name so this soap services is going to run the ess job call the ess job or submit the ess job so i will give the name as same submit ess underscore so as this is the soap endpoint that's why i have added soap and this is the operation whatever we are going to perform with the help of this endpoint now next here you can see erp integration services and the select port is that erp integration services soap http port the same we used here soap http port this one and in, inside that one what operation we select we operation select as a submit ess job so same you can see here submit ess job so here you can see submit ess job request just click here and now next done next do you want to configure header for this endpoint no we don't require any header configuration right we don't provide any header here so that's why we don't require that one so i will go next and done so here you can see in the this is the endpoint we added and here in the mapping we need to provide all the value whatever value we provided here right by calling the ess job so same i will go and open the mapping you can see in the mapping also you can see these three parameters package name definition name and the parameter list so here you can see once you will connection you can open body inside submit ess job request you can see these things right so here we have to provide the value this value right so i will just right click create target node and here i will provide the value in single quotes done and here we have to provide the definition name definition name is nothing it's a short name of your ess job so use the same now done and here as we know that we don't have any parameter or integration we will escape validate and close this endpoint will return response as a request id as same as here we got the response as a re result result tag we have the request id so this request id we will map in our integration response right so here we'll edit and here in the response wrapper we already mapped earlier so we will delete the mapping and now here we have submit ess soap response we'll expand here expand here you can see this result will be mapped here right validated and here instead of direct message you can submit as a directly let it be say just done validate and close so now our integration is ready it will call the soap services to run the ess job after that it will return response a response we are returning as a integration 
response just save close and let me execute this one so first activate and once we will activate you can see it's ready for activate now submit so once you will go for test in body you can see we, we are passing the same the, the package name and the definition name the same will be passed to the soap and it will return back the response and the response we have map as a response payload so here you can see in response we got the request id that is 546 and here if we will see if we will uh, reload this one we can see the latest one 546 and the status is in running so after some time it will be completed right you can see succeed so this is the way where we can use integration create integration to run the ESL job using soap services now in this next video i will i will add the logic how to get the status of the ESL job then after i will create separate videos where we will add the logic to download the report output or ESS job output so as this is report ESS job so we will we can download the output of this ESS job so thank you so much for watching if you have any query you can make a comment of that thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe